Welcome back to another episode of Eat With Dunks. And today we've made some sweet tamarind sauce chicken wings. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that is good. Keep watching and I'll show you guys just how to make it. So right now we're gonna get our chicken wings seasoned, but first we're gonna clean it all up. In fact, I've already washed the chicken. Uh, we're gonna get some of the excess fat off. I cut my wing dings off, I don't like those, so I take them off the chicken wing. Some folks cook it with it, and sometimes I do if I'm like frying it in a frying pan. But today we're just gonna put it in the air fryer. Now we're taking off the excess skin and fat off the chicken wings uh, before we get to seasoning it. Uh, I don't like the excess fat, so I just take them off, put them to the side, throw it out. So we have the tambourine on the stove top and it's boiling right now. You can either boil yours or soak it overnight, but today we're just gonna boil ours because we forgot to soak it overnight. And as you can see, you want it to boil until all that meat off the tamarind just start to easily fall off to make a thick gravy. We're gonna let this boil for a little bit more, right? Until it's starting to thicken. And this is what we're gonna use to coat, to coat our chicken. Grate some ginger uh, root in the mixture here. And as you can see, it's starting to get thicker. Uh, we're gonna leave this here for a little while. All right, so we're about to season the chicken and we're gonna start with some olive oil. So our chicken seasoning can stick on there. Uh, first we're gonna start with some all purpose and I don't usually measure, I just pour until I feel like it's right. All right, I uh, got some garlic salt cause you can't leave the garlic out with the chicken wings. And some allspice, love allspice on anything. A little bit of black pepper, ginger, Ooh, this makes your food taste miraculous. I have some scotch bonnet powder. This is gonna give the chicken a kick. Uh, my wife loves it hot. And cayenne for a little booster. All right, brings out the flavor in the chicken. Some cornstarch, this is what's gonna give it that crispy look when it's done frying. All right, we're getting to the seasoning. We're gonna rub that all in, make sure it's uh, rubbed in properly. Make sure everything is fully covered. Now that our chicken is fully seasoned, we're gonna drop them in our air fryer and get them going while we get our tamarind sauce uh, ready uh, for when the chicken is done cooking. I don't have a lot of space in my air fryer, so it's okay to just uh, layer them on top of each other. Again, it's just air frying them, so it'd be okay. Right now we're about to strain off our tamarind sauce and it is thick so we're gonna have to do some squeezing. You can use a spoon, you can wait for it to cool and use your hands. I don't wanna wait for it to cool so I'm just gonna use a spoon and kinda squeeze out all the sauce through here and in fact I am gonna take what's left here and I'm gonna make what's called tamarind juice. 
and this is what we have so far if you want to take a look at the look at that yes look how thick this is This is more than enough for our sauce that we're going to make today for our chicken wings. And here in the pot, we're going to use this to make some, what's left over, we're going to use to make some tamarind juice. Look out for, I might make a video of that. I may not. If not, just hop over on my Instagram and you'll see it. You can hop find me at Eat With Dunks on Instagram and all social media platforms. So guys, the chicken goes in the air fryer for about 40 minutes and we are turning it halfway. It's been about 20 minutes, so it's time to flip them around. And this is what I do to kind of move them around. And then we're gonna stick it back in here for about another 20 minutes and let them finish cooking. We're about to make our sauce. First, we start with some butter. As you can see, I've had the stove top on for a little while. All right, so that's our butter. And then we're gonna add our tamarind sauce to the butter. We're just gonna let it sit there and do its thing. Yeah, let that butter mix into that sauce. It's gonna get make the tamarind sauce stick to the chicken. So to balance that uh, sour tamarind flavor out of the sauce, mix some sugar, brown sugar, in some water and add that to the sauce. Uh, some honey, I put some agave just for uh, a little bit of extra sweetness and a little bit of ketchup. Right, I know it sounds weird, but there's a method to the madness. All right, and now we're just gonna mix it all in. Oh yeah. All right, this should be good enough. We're gonna add this to our tamarind sauce here in our pan. And it's gonna make it a little bit light, but if you give it a little while, it'll get thickened again. We're gonna add our agave to the mix. And then we'll be adding some honey. Oh, look at that honey. And then we're gonna add a little bit of ketchup. Like I said, guys, I know this sounds weird, but trust me, there is a method to this. Now we're gonna add a little bit of powder seasoning. First, I'm gonna start with some onion powder, mainly the same seasonings that you use for your chicken. Scotch bonnet pepper, some more ginger, black pepper, garlic salt, and then we're gonna mix it all up. We'll let all those flavors kind of settle in there, soak in. And this is what's gonna make that chicken taste delicious. Ooh, look at that. And while that bubbles, we're gonna add a little bit of parsley to the mix. We've got some parsley flakes, uh, maybe a little bit more than a little bit. And then we're gonna just mix that in. Our chicken is almost done, guys. Uh, it's getting golden brown. I can't wait for you to see it. Ooh. Sweet, tangy. Uh, this, this is perfect. Right, guys now that our chicken is done we are about to get them sauced up now we're about to add our chicken wings to our tamarind sauce and then we're gonna mix it up so that sauce stick to it and then we're gonna get ready to eat dinner So 
What I could have done was pour the sauce over top, but I like to have the stove on a low heat while I'm applying the sauce, and then I'm gonna leave it to sit for a while so it can stick. And this I find to be the best way for your meat to be fully uh, sauced, because I'm saucy. And it sticks to the meat better this way. All the chicken wings are starting to get a full coat of the sauce and we're just gonna mix that up a little bit more so everything is fully covered, let that flavor soak into it. Ooh, I did that. Y'all ever heard that on TikTok or Instagram? Speaking of, follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at Eat With Dunks to see some more of these awesome meals. This is what you want your chicken wings to look like. So it's really covered in that tamarind sauce and we're about to try it, give it a, the first time try to see what it's like before I give it to anyone else to, to try. Usually, as you know, we have the wives try it first, but today I'm gonna try it first. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mmm, bomb, mm, mm, mm. This is for the win, this is for the win. If you thought lemon pepper was good, try tamarind sweet. I'm gonna call this one sweet tamarind sauce chicken wings. Mm-hmm. 